In March this year, a group of international journalists were invited to view the Wintershall Emlekheim oil facility in northwest Germany. The day began with a presentation by members of the management, explaining the facilities and of course their company's achievements and ambitions. Everyone listened attentively, carefully recording the information by every possible means. There was also plenty of time for questions, and of course there were interpreters on hand to ensure nothing escaped the many non-English speaking attendees. From what we have learned, it's around one billion tons of oil. At the end of the presentation, it was time to take a tour of the operations. In the interest of safety, we all had to be fitted out with appropriate clothing. Before beginning the first leg of the tour, we were all asked to pose for the inevitable group photo. Dr. Volker Riha, Wintersall's operations superintendent, firstly demoed the use of the emergency gas masks before we could enter their steam generating facility. And our knowledgeable host faced a barrage of questions. There was then time to get a rooftop view of the whole plant before taking a look at the turbine house, where the company generates its own electricity. A surprise addition to the tour was a chance to view all operations from the air. A helicopter provided us with a great impression of the size and scope of the oil field and the facilities that make up the Emlekheim operations. After this impressive video and photo opportunity, it was back to the main offices for a welcome lunch break and a chance to swap stories with fellow journalists. The final part of this excellent day was a visit to one of the drilling rigs, where we were hosted by drilling manager Mr. Roland Zell. The, 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 the earth is a lot cooler and want to expand more because it's hotter. Mm -hmm. He also patiently fielded many questions from the highly inquisitive uh, journalists. We then climbed onto the actual drilling platform where we could see more of the drilling operation in progress. After leaving the gantry, Mr. Zell faced a further journalistic onslaught and there was also time for a Russian crew to record a piece to camera for a news item back home before our bus driver patiently but firmly reminded us it was time to leave. <laughs>